Hello and welcome to Blender 4.5. It is here and specifically I'm here to showcase the set mesh normal node in geometry nodes. It's a lot of fun and I'm going to show it with some rubber duckies floating in the water causing some ripples and some wind waves. Um, and now if you like this, if you learn something, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It would help me out a lot and let's dive right in. Let's start by adding a new geometry node setup on our default cube. Yes, it's happening. Hit new. And there we go, we got a nice input. Now, to start us off, I'm just going to subdivide my mesh. So hit Shift A, subdivision surface. And there it is. And let's make it smooth by setting this to maybe 6. That works fine for now. And uh, now we need to actually spawn some instances. So let's just hit Shift A, distribute points on faces. Points on faces, there we go. Connect it up. The points, drag it out to an instance on points, and right away I want to add an instance here. And what I'm going to add is I'm going to scout through Blender Kit, it's completely free, and we can just look for a duck, rubber ducky. That's what I want to use. This should be a free one there, beautiful. And so we can just use that for our instance. So drag this out to an object info. Here we go. We can just use the duck, and let's use the this one, and let's just connect this with a join geometry here and let's see how it looks there we go ducks beautiful now these ducks obviously need to be rotated around the normals of this mesh and that's actually very easy to do because we already get a normal value when we distribute points that are linked to the points so we can actually drag that out to a rotate no sorry a line rotation to vector here we go rotation Nope, vector and rotation to the rotation and connect this to the rotation and you should be golden. Now I want a little bit of randomness to that rotation. Hit shift A, find a rotate rotation, connect it up, set this to local and we only want to rotate around the Z vector because that is actually the Z, um, uh, the rotation around its Z axis. So we want to get this Z value, drag this out, combine X, Y, Z that will expose it as a singular value, drag this out to a random value, and in here I'm gonna type minus pi to pi, because that together makes 2 pi, which is a full circle around the z axis, and that is just what we need. For the scaling, I'm gonna do the same, but I can just use a regular random value node here, set to float, because that will just scale it uniformly. Let's say this from 0.5 to 1, and that's beautiful. Now to avoid overlapping instances, we can actually set our point distribution to poison disk. And that means that we can now set a distance minimum and it will just set a nice minimum distance between the spawned points. We can now increase the distance or sorry, the density a little bit and there we go, looking beautiful. Now we get to the tricky part. It's not really tricky, but it's new and that makes it a bit tricky. So we have instances and we got our actual sphere. And with the new normal node, shift A, set mesh normal, we can actually set the normals of our sphere. And that's what we want because that's where we want the ripples to appear based on the duck shape, of course. So we can set this to free, set this to face corner. It works working best, in my opinion, in my tiny bit of experience with this node while playing around with it. Face corner works best. Um, and we can now just work with the instances here. Now, how do we do this? We need to blend between the normals of the sphere and the normals of the ducks around the ducks. And we need to actually switch that or mix it in a way where if it comes closer to the duck, we get more of that normal from the duck as well. How do we do that? Well, first things first, we need to get uh, that kind of mask to see how close we are to a duck. How do we do that? It's done with a geometry proximity node. And we can just add this mesh in here. And for this to work, we need to hit Shift A and find a realize instances node there. And we can now work with this value. Now, if you're curious to how this looks, we can hit Ctrl Shift click on the set mesh normal node and Ctrl Shift click on the geometry proximity two times to get the distance value. And you can see that the closer we get to the duck, the darker that value is going to be, which means that the mask is zero where we need the new normals and one where we want to keep the original normals. So keep that in mind. So how do we now switch, switch this up? Let's delete our viewer node. Let's hit Shift A and find a mix node and we set this to a vector. 
Now we want to use this mask, let's already just connect this to mix between the new vector normal that we get from the duck and the original normals. And we already established that the top connection here is zero closer to the ducks, it needs the new duck normal. So to avoid confusion, I'm just gonna drag the B output, which is the one value, the white value out to a normal node, just so we know that this is the value we need for the second input. For the top input, we can actually use the realized instances, so those are the realized ducks. Drag this out to a sample nearest surface. That is not the right one. Sample nearest surface, there we go. Connect this in there. Set this to vector and let's sample a value called the normal. And we can now connect this into that top value. Now we can just have a look at what this does, drag all of this to the right and let's connect the result to the new custom normal. This is looking a little bit weird, okay? And the reason why is because it's blending with a mask that is not properly set to the right values. And if you just want that little corner here to, to for example, um, have that nice roundness, that nice connection between the ducks and the water, you can use, for example, Shift A, a map range node, and you can just drag this maximum value down more and more and more to the zero values until you're satisfied with maybe what it looks like. And we still have a little dark ring, and that's because right at the bottom of the duck, of course, it goes down a bit more, which means the normals are quite facing down and it gets this more of a dark value. But in this case, it's fine because we're using it for water. But if we move the ducks down with, for example, a set position node, when we spawn them in the zone points, ducky here, set position, and we can just move the Z position down a little bit, you can see that this normal will actually change depending on the normal of the duck, right? So we can set this to a nice value, something like that maybe, and that works a lot better already. So now let's create the actual wave shape and for that I'm going to delete this map range node, get back to this nice looking uh, whatever it is and I'm going to use this distance value to um, input a wave texture. So hit shift A and find a wave texture and by doing that it's actually going to create a nice wave pattern in that input mask of the distance. So we can just scale this to whatever value we want and now we just need to mix this in a proper way so it doesn't look like garbage, of course. So how do we do that? Well, because we are already set up with a value here, I'm just going to duplicate this mix node because we can just mix this with the original normal, right? We can just connect this in here and the B1 is going to be our new value and I just want this factor input to be the distance, all right? There we go, Shift A, find a color ramp node, connect that between the distance and that second mix node and drag this closer. If it doesn't work, if it looks weird, we need to swap these values, this one in the top, normal in the bottom. So now you can see the fall off is actually working quite nicely there. Beautiful. So this geometry, the look, the resolution of your normals will depend in geometry nodes on your geometry topology resolution. So the higher you set your subdivision surface, let's set this to 7, the smoother your rings will appear. And then I like to add a little bit of randomness for just the wave texture in the water. And to do that we can just hit Shift A and find our vector math node and add it right after our mix node. And this will just be used to add some more bump, some more normal to our already existing kind of waviness. And um, so let's just do that by dragging this out to a noise texture. And let's just connect the color instead of the factor and disable normalize. There we go. And I'm just going to drag out my vector to a position node. And that will just mean that, well, it is already the position. That by default, this vector input will be the position. But now we can actually do some math here in between. Shift A, vector math. That's the wrong one. Shift A, vector math. There we go. And we can choose multiply and set everything to one. And we can just scale up one axis, for example, this one, to have it more in a, like a wave kind of shape. Now we can even rotate this. Shift A, rotate vector. And add that in front and rotate this into the correct kind of values that you have in mind like the direction of the water and maybe just compress this a little bit not too much there we go 
And then we can play around with the skill, the noisiness, whatever you want. And now we can actually start animating this as well. And to do that, we can duplicate our math node here, set this to add, set everything to zero. And we can now animate the X value here in the minus direction. Hashtag frame divided by 200, for example, will move. And I should have done a minus 200. We'll move our water beautifully into the top left direction. Maybe it can be a bit faster. Minus 100. Beautiful. To also make the change over time, the noise texture, set this to 4D and type in hashtag frame divided by 150, for example. And that will end move it into that direction and also um, change the noise texture over time. Now we can do the same for this wave texture. Shift A, vector math right before the input vector there. And we can just move this in, if your wave texture is set to Z, you can move it in Z. If it's set to X, you can move this in the X value minus in Z, so I'm just going to move that in the minus direction, hashtag frame divided by minus 200 maybe. And that's fine, maybe 350 works better. There we go, that's looking a lot better. And I feel like this may be a little bit strong for my normal, so what I can do is just hit shift A, mix and set this to vector. We can drag it in here right before our and set the mesh inputs and we can just mix this with our normal before we set it. So we can now control how strong that normal will be. Right? How strong do you want this water to be visible, this, these waves? And pick whatever you like. There we go. Now as final step, I want these duckies to move a little bit because that's just fun. So shift A, find a set position. Connect it for your duckies, and I want this to move with a normal direction compared to our sphere. And we already have that for when we spawn distribute points on the faces. We have a beautiful normal output that we can use for the offset. Drag it out all the way there. Shift A, vector math. Let's just scale this with a noise texture because each ducky should have its own movement and each ducky should have its own displacement. Um, and to do that, I am just going to shift A, vector, no, not vector math, map range, um, because now it's moving it from zero to one, one being the furthest away from the distance and zero being the closest. But I also want them to move slightly in the surface and obviously one is way too much. So I'm going to set this to minus 0.05 to max 0.05 and drag that in between, and that's just gonna be much better. Now let's set this to 4D, so it's actually gonna be animated a little bit, and type in the W value, hashtag frame divided by 200 maybe. And let's see if they are bouncing up and down, and they are. It's actually beautiful. The ripples are a little bit fast probably, so let's set that to 500 instead. There we go. So that's how you create your own normal driven water, I guess, based from um, your instance duckies and that's quite a fun way to set this up. It's a very nice new feature um, that you can use for example for this or you can use it to blend trees together with dirt or rocks together with other rocks or you can even use it for grass that is blowing in the wind by just changing the normals no actual mesh displacement needs just the normals will already give you that idea. And if you want a video about that, I can make it as well. Let me know. If you like this one, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe. I would enjoy any one of those. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.